Hey, Snakey and x back today. Today we've got Zubuntu. Yes, Zubuntu, XFCE, 10.10. .10. Came out on Sunday with all the others. Now I'm doing Zubuntu because everybody else does all the others. But I like this XFCE, so I'm doing Zubuntu. So a quick tour around for you. Your quick button, your time, sound. Here we go again. Now every time I install Zubuntu, we have this problem of not doing it sound as soon as you installed it. Don't like it. Sort it out, boys. Come on, behave. Ethernet is already connected. Oh, lovely, lovely. It's all there. You've got your help. You've got your web browser. You've got your places for your files and stuff, downloads, etc., etc., etc. We've got applications up there as well. We've got our home folder. Let's open them up. Have a quick look. It's all the usual. Look, no different. I do like the new interface they're using. It's really, really nice. Really, really nice. Did I say it was really nice? Yes, it's really nice. Right, file system and your waste basket. We're calling it a waste basket now. Now, there we go. Okay. Applications. Let's have a look. <clears throat> you got your settings, accessories, all the usual there. XFC, as you know, Clipman, Mousepad, Task Manager, Terminal, and Thuna File Manager. We'll open up the Task Manager. As you can see, it's not using anything. But if we scroll down, here's a look. The most thing that's using anything is the Task Manager. Bloody hell, loads and loads and loads. So don't run that too often, will you? Otherwise, you might be worth running XFC. Yeah. And then again, it stays open up there. So I'll try and close it. I'll try and close it, and they don't want to know. Help me out, please, don't want to know. Right, okay. I'll try and close it again. And the one that click, quit. Thank you. Gone. That time, thank you very much. Gone. Okay. Where was we? Yes, graphics. You get Gimpy, you get Ristrado and Simple Scan. Ristrado is just a viewer, basically, for viewing your pictures. Really, really simple. I'll open the about. Fast and lightweight for XFCE. Job done. Just for looking at your pictures and photos. Obviously, if you're going to do manipulation, you're going to use Gimpy or another one like Shotwell. That's up to you. But Gimpy comes as standard. Exhale is one of your players there. You get Mixer as well. But you also get Parole Media Player. Now, this is a new one. I think it replaces a GX Zine or M Player, whichever one you had before. Really nice. I tried it out. It works okay. Does Parole mean it's been in prison? I didn't think about it before, really. Anyway. Back to multimedia, it's all there, and XF burners for your burning. Now, network, obviously you've got Firefox, Thunderbird, Pigeon, Remote Desktop Viewer, Transmission, and XChat as standard. Abbey Word, of course, is going to be there. You can get OpenOffice, as we all know, but if you don't really do much writing or letters or anything like that, what's the point, really, in getting OpenOffice? Now, it's 2.8.6, so it's nice and new, which is good for us all. Super duper, yeah. So, what else we got down here? Oh yeah, don't forget G Numeric is there, the baby, G Numeric, the sister, it's there. As usual, look, do your jobs, do your spreadsheets, enough said. Now, installation took around about 20 minutes on the system, so that weren't too bad. Additional drivers, if, if you want to get to your additional drivers, Gila, language support, it's all there. Synaptic package managers are there, task managers are there, again, and startup disk creator, don't forget that, time and date, and all the others that you would expect to be here. Update manager, I'm just going to check it. Now, so when I installed it and done all the updates, there was two. I was just going to check it again, see if there's any more. I oh, know there's none, so that's even better. So, yeah. Oh, looks rather nice, actually. Right, nice and smooth so far. I've had no problemos. No problemos at all. I don't get users and groups there. And don't forget the Ubuntu Software Center. And that's been completely redesigned this time. And it looks rather nice and snazzy. There's also a pay one in there as well. Yeah, really. No, it's a pay one. But we're doing Audacity. I'm just going to show you, make sure it all works. Audacity doesn't come as standard, but if you want to do audio stuff, it's probably you're going to have to have it. It's, it's a must, really. So I'm going to quickly install it via the software center to show you how easy it is. So put my password in. It starts installing. There we go. Bar's almost gone already. Look, it's installing. A bit more installing. That's a bit more installing. And more installing. And it's done. Lovely. Wow. Yeah, so that's all nice. So that all works correctly. It's what we nice. We need to know. Okay, really short one today because I don't want to keep them too long. I want to run it a bit to see if there's any problems. But hey, anyway, we're going to go down to multimedia. We're going to open up Audacity, make sure it all works. There you go. Look, nice. It's all there, ready for you to use. I mean, I use it a lot anyway, and I know a lot of others of you will do it. This sound thing though really gets on my go. Why can't I sort it out once and for all? It really gets on my breasticles, to say to say. But apart from that, really, really, really nice. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you all later. Bye bye.